hello friends welcome back to my microsoft word course today is a course number 13 so what are we going to learn today today we'll be learning how to put in watermark on your page and how to color your page and how to put a border on your page so let's start now so i want to put a watermark on this page over here like do not copy or confidential how we do it so for that you can see the watermark click on that there is lots of way of putting it or also you can customize your watermark so first let's say you put confidential what happened see one watermark so will come over here if you can see confidential you see behind writing there is small one thing says confidential but I don't want that let's say I want to put in watermark we say please or do not copy see do not copy also you can customize your watermark how you click customize it will give you an option to write you can choose the language you can choose the size you can choose the font style and you want to can size like let's say there is do not copy I want to click it and I want to say authority for example let's say authority if I say authority uh, there is a spelling mistake okay if I say okay okay see now do not copy become authority so that's how mainly you make your watermark now I want to page color this page how page color I mean not this font I want to color the all in total page how you page color it. click on this page color it will give you an option whatever color you choose see the color in behind it changing okay you see that's how many you change the page color okay so that's it that's how many you choose your page color let me choose this color okay and now if you want to make a page border how we do it you go to go to page border you choose the border you like you choose the style you like you choose the design you like from here there is lots of style lots of design let's go with this and let's make this box what happened to my page see this border came up yeah so that's how mainly you make page border if you don't want you can go back non click it okay see the border gone that's how and from the indent you can automatically left right you can size you see see this see this one it will moving keep moving so that's how see if you want to put you saw so that's how you can put you want to put zero zero you want to put like this you can put like this so that's how many you can change your line and these things okay so do not forget to um, choose the auto one because the auto one is automatically fixing you okay you can put automatically or you can put manually but I always suggest to put automatically but you can do the way you want okay so it's just and giving gapping and keeping page and arranging your word so that's why we finish with layout page today and next time we'll start with the references and do not forget to subscribe and keep watching my video please if you did not subscribe please do so now so you can get the automatic update of my new uploads and if you have any kind of suggestion as usual do not forget to leave below thank you